Hey, welcome to Transform Through Storm Tarot. It's your girl, Storm Journey, and welcome to Treatment Thursday. So we're going to go ahead and jump into today's reading. This reading is going to be about embracing your inner child. So we're going to see how you can honor your inner child um, at this time. So Spirit, how can my collective honor their inner child at this time? How can you tap into your playfulness? How can my collective tap into their playfulness? Spirit, how can my collective tap into their playfulness? Something you can do for fun. Something my collective can do for fun. What can my collective do for fun? A quality you had as a child that you don't embrace anymore. A quality that you had as a child that you don't embrace anymore. Why you avoid embracing your inner child? Why does my collective avoid embracing their inner child? That's a deep one. And what is the message from your inner child? What is the message from your inner child? All right. The overall energy for your reading and why you're here is because there's a need for a release. There's a need for you to allow things to end out of your life, to free yourself so that you can have this new beginning. There's a new beginning that is literally waiting for you, right? But you have to release people. You have to release situations um, that are holding you back because there's a, there's a spiritual transformation that the divine has that, that's leading you into this new beginning. So you're going through a spiritual transformation that's requiring you to, I feel like this is more so situations and people um, that you need to release, okay? So, how you can honor your inner child, we have the world, okay? And so, this is you being in a, a time of joy, okay? And more so spiritual enlightenment, okay? This is you elevating. This is you ending cycles, okay? Ending cycles with people, right? It is time to end the cycle so that you can be proud of yourself and move towards success, right? Move towards this new beginning. How you can tap into your playfulness. You can tap into your playfulness by... Healing misunderstandings, right? I feel like there's I feel like that there's a situation or or again this this is giving me because you're you're going through this spiritual transformation, you're gaining this spiritual enlightenment, so with this three of swords energy, again, this is just a challenge that you are overcoming. This is a this is just personal growth. You allowing yourself to overcome a challenge. I don't necessarily feel like this is healing. I feel like this is overcoming something. I feel like something is trying to defeat you and you have to overcome it. But in order to overcome it, you have to release some things. You have to allow endings to occur, okay? Um, Something you can do for fun. See? Get back to your childhood. Get back to embracing your inner child, right? Something you can do for fun. What did you like to do when you were a kid, right? Do that thing. I feel like that's something you can do. If 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 there's a challenge that you're being faced with, I feel like maybe revisit the plan, revisit how you choose to accomplish or or how you even got to the crossroad or this challenge, right? I feel like there's a need to kind of 
go over some things, review some things, right? Or or redo something. I feel like this is a redo. Um, the, the quality you had as a child that you don't embrace anymore, that would be <clears throat> the dreamer. So, yeah, you, you as a kid, you were free-spirited. You trusted yourself. You you fearless, right? You, you just embrace new beginnings right and so i feel like that's the same thing that 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 needs to happen here open your mind up to the impossible right open yourself up to your your dreams to what it is that you've always wanted as a kid go after that i feel like it is it's this new start you're getting a new start at that at this time why you avoid embracing your inner child? We got the four pinnacles. I feel like you avoid embracing your inner child because you're afraid of Over, over giving, or becoming over emotional. I feel like there's a, a it's it's something to do with an extreme in how you feel. Okay, so it may be too 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 painful to deal with, right? It, the, the the emotions may be too too powerful, too strong to deal with, right? I, I feel like that's why you hold back. Oh wow. What happened? Because it is a challenge, it's personal growth that comes from challenges, and and I feel like the challenges were not being. I feel like the challenges were not having people be there for you, which is why you need to release, which is why you overgive to people because you're so not used to having people give to you or the right people giving to you. See, it's something to do with something along those lines, okay? So, yeah. I'm trying to see. We're going to pull the last card, see what the last card is. What is the um <clears throat> the message from your inner child? We have the Ten of Swords. So, this is... Okay, so this goes back to this Three of Swords, right? And the Three of Swords energy was how you can tap into your playfulness. But what I'm getting off of this is... See, something happened at home. I, because, see, this is it's giving me, like... Like, you feel like people turned your back on you. It has something to do with your throat chakra, though. It has something to do with you being able to communicate or not communicating. So this is communication issues. So this is personal growth that comes from challenges, again, for people not having people to talk to, not having people to express yourself to, right? Feeling like you didn't have anyone there for you because when it comes to this message from your inner child it's like again you leaving those people and those situations behind because you're getting ready to receive a a new set I feel like a new set of people right um that are are going to be there for you are going to support you are going to this is a, this is 
it's definitely a new new happiness, right? It's the opportunity for new happiness, right? But again, there's things that you have to release. So let's see, what is this that needs to be released? Let's get a scattered thought on what needs to, what is this? Like, what is this? You didn't deserve what I put you through. So, right off the back, okay, again, I already felt like it was a redo, okay, um, in regards to communicating, somebody feel like somebody wasn't, or there's a misunderstanding, okay, um, but when it comes to, this could be how, this could be in your present life now, but I feel like when it comes to your, your childhood, again, somewhere in this family dynamic, right, Somebody did something to you that you didn't deserve. And you have to release that. It's time to release that. And and it's in regards to communication, okay? It's in regards to communication. So... We have beautiful soul because you have a beautiful soul and this is why the things happen. This is why the person treated you this way, right? This is why you had to take a break from this person. Um, But again, I'm feeling like you're being guided to have a redo with this person, right? And and this may, again, like I say, this could be something that's in your, your present or, again, going back to your childhood. And now we have celebration. Yeah, there's a celebration that's coming in. Okay, so this could be a mother and her child, okay? So this could, yeah, this could be a mother and her child. We have team spirit. So yeah, you're being guided to work together as a team to because there's loyalty within this this family dynamic, right? Um, so take it how it resonates. I feel like this is I feel like the same situation. What because he, this is what it is. It's like you're being offered your own family at this time, a new family, to start your own family, right? But you have to heal from your childhood so that you don't take that, so that you can have the new beginning. You won't get the new beginning until you're able to release and and, and have a redo. There has to be a redo from the childhood, the inner child, so that it manifests and reflects in to this current situation that's unfolding here because it's the same situation, okay? And so it's just saying that because you haven't healed from it yet, it's repeating in your life, okay? And so now it's showing up, but it's showing up now so that you can heal from it so that you can have this redo with whoever is in your life presently right now, okay? So that's what I have for you all. I hope it resonates. Love and light.